Hello everybody, welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here, and thanks so much for joining me today. We are now fighting dwarfs in the dwarf tunnels. So expect more dwarfs, more axes and hammers and beards. Lots of beards. With that said, let's go. We do have a lich in the party for the first time, so we will see how that goes. We have an enemy we haven't seen before, a geomancer. Obviously going to be some kind of caster. He has a block and a ward, however. Our Bride of Erratus is up next. Let's have her buff up. Get her plus six damage for next turn and the rest of the battle. Yep, have fun chunking through his health. Alright, this is going to hit a random enemy for magic damage. We can buff someone's attack, I think what I want to try doing so that maybe we can take out this Geomancer quickly is I'm going to buff her attack on top of what she's already buffed and see what that does. Unfortunately, it did move her a little bit out of position. Let's see if we can get some physical damage down on these guys. We know that we don't want them living very long. Fate within flames. There we go. That's a little bit better of an order. Yikes. Don't like that. I like that though a lot, so. And we got one of these guys insane. We don't want that because their attack keeps going up. I really want one of these guys out of the picture quickly. Earth attack, okay. Ran a fire? That's gonna hit everybody though. Yeah, we don't want that was close. We don't want that. We don't want to hit everybody. Let's just hit a random with a with a magic attack. Yeah, that, I'll take that. Yeah, that's fine. I will do this again. Because it's just so much damage now that we have her buffed. She's still buffed 6 and 6. I'm going to do Bombardment with him, which is really the only useful thing I can do with him in this position. Which is not his ideal position at all. And we'll get rid of that guy so we don't take uh, damage from his buff to attack. Probably Geomancer. Oh, he's out too. Look at that burn damage go. Look at that burn damage go. Random's gonna be pretty not random with only one enemy left. Good hit. And this might finish it. Not quite, but the Ignite will get him if the Bombardment does not. I don't want to say that was easy one, but maybe we had a good group comp for it. Seemed to go pretty well, but we got a lot of people low on health now. Alright, so a couple things happening out here. We could pull her out. She's got her level. We could throw in... Let's throw in the Lich and see if he can get a level. She's out. She's the most hurt. Let's put her in. I'd hate to do it, but let's leave him out to get some health. Let's leave the zombie in. Let's leave her back here. Let's see. Let's just take this. Wow. Reduce Ooh, from four to so six. Worthy of my investment. 
And let's put her in. Oh, excellent. Why you could call this one the uh, strong silent type. Hmm? I think I think I want to use these brains. I do. I know I do. Let's do we want, let's do the cho the choose on this one is good because we can move people around. So to the chosen enemy it ignores My block. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Uh, what else? Two random targets. I expect results. The attacked enemy loses all. Yeah, let's take that. That was a good one. Okay. And with that, I, I kind of want to just put him in and do something more like that for our loadout. I could even... We could argue that I do something like that. Hmm. I'm not uh, really confident with it. I'd like for this guy to get some health back, though, so... Okay, but for this quest now... For this quest now... Um, let's... Jeez, I want him out. I'm worried that in these quests we tend to lose people sometimes. Like, people I'd rather not lose. Hmm, humans become much sturdier when you strip them of their vital organs. Hearts I'd rather not lose. Let's get her out of here. Let's just put these guys in and see what see what happens. Ah, uh, see, we don't want to attack with this group. While Dwarven society has embraced technology almost fully, there are still a few lingering magical traditions that command power and respect. In this war, the Geomancers and the Oracles have been a thorn in your side, but now you have a chance to strike a direct blow to them. This nexus is a place where golems are being animated and where these paltry wizards have st has stored their mana. It is well guarded, so a direct assault will be a dangerous one. Uh, let's not attack. Actually... I guess it's maybe it's better to bring a full group. We had one where it was like a random event and we just lost a minion from the choice we made and that kind of was a bad feeling. So I tend to bring trash groups to those quests. But maybe I will have to rethink that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the battle that is marked here. Well, we could go one of two ways. I'm going this way because, yeah, I want the level raise for my minions. That's what I really want. I see something new. And it looks like we're up first. We have a hammerer. Lots of vigor. 14 attack. It's got three ward and three armor. Okay, or three block rather. The berserkers, we know we're gonna target them down first. So let's just get right into it. Uh, the Sanity, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with Sanity. What about this guy back here? Break through one of his wards. Fate within flames. Let's pull this guy up here. Head for the headless hunter. Let's have her buff up. Interesting attack. If I have him do this, I know that he'll get back out front. Do I need him to be back out front? I guess I guess not. Break their bones. I don't really know if I want her up here, but we'll see. Two random enemies. Let's see how this does. Well, 
It ate through one of his blocks. It's not entirely useless. Let's lower their overall attack if we can. I feel like that's a no-brainer whenever we can use that ability. It's just so much damage on everybody. And if you if you buffed her up, it's so much damage. Yikes. I don't like that. Now he's in a stance. Well, it's not going to hit who I wanted now, but it will hit somebody. They're doing so much buffing, it's not good. It's not good. Although I think he hit his own guy there, so that wasn't bad. We're going to lose her for sure. Oh, that missed everybody, thankfully. Need one hit from this. There we go. First mistake. Opposing that guy just went insane. <laughs> Your last. All right, let's do this again. Give them no mercy. Yikes! So much AOE damage on both sides. Glad they're missing her for the time being. Not that she could do a whole lot. Do this. Oh, Jesus. Not good, guys. Not good at all. Jeez, this is not good. One more for the stockpiles. I don't know if this is going to do it. I have a feeling that we're going to die. I can craft a few hundred more. Maybe. I hope so. That's what it's going to take. Yes. Buff everybody. Can I do anything useful here? Have a warm end, my I hit his ward. Friend. So silly. So silly. Boom. Bringing down the hammer on us. Alright, that finishes that off. Bye bye, team. Death has been denied. It was nice now. knowing all of you for the short time you existed. And now we are back down to bare bones. Barest of bones. What do we got? You're not healed because we didn't win. Um, yeah. Not very good. There's a lot of things I would do differently if I started from the beginning that I think would have ended us up in a much better place. What do we got here? We opened up something. A shade. A soul that is trapped on the border, misspelled, of life and death, infused with necromantic energy, becomes a shade. Far more than a simple animated shadow, these creatures are conduits of power and channel great energies for their dark masters. They also serve as excellent spies and assistants around the workplace. That just sounds riveting. Might as well make one. I will cast a long shadow over my foes. Uh, what's he got? He's got a stance. All successful attacks against your minions cause the attacker to take stress damage to 100% of the damage dealt. That's pretty good stance. A buff, the shade, and the target swap positions and gain 20 evasion. Grants Erratus 15 mana just flat out, okay. Target loses accuracy. Magic attack. 
Deals damage equal to 60%. Boss is 30% of the sanity that the target is missing. Doesn't miss. I'm going to have to think about that unit a little more before I think about using it uh, anywhere. But we'll go with something like this for now. Can't do one of these. Let's go ahead and jump back in and see if we can take these guys out. And then we'll get some levels, hopefully, for some of our people. Maybe that will help us. It's not going to be too hard because for non-boss battles, it just leaves them where they're at. So we can just kind of go in and clean up. Doesn't feel very rewarding to do that, but... And maybe on the more the higher difficult settings, maybe that's not how it works. I don't know. This one voided its bowels just as a die. Wonderful. Okay, cleaned up. A sad display for mortal kind. I, I agree with that. It was a sad display for, for undead kind as well. Let's grab that. Zombies received that 50% accuracy in that attack. So that should really help us. Um, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, out here, he gained his level. Could throw her in there to get her a level. Now, prove yourself worthy of my investment. Do I want to bring him in? I mean, I guess I could bring him in. I'm not sure what else I'm going to bring in at the at this moment. Oh, she's healed up and she's level two. I could just bring her in. And in fact, I should probably do that because I know that she's like my biggest damage dealer at the moment. If I go up here, I, I'm i torn between giving this squad a level. I think I'm just going to give my core squad another level and hopefully we don't lose any more of them. Let's do that and see if it helps us. Serve me well, my minion. Uh, for her, removes all buffs from the target. That would be I a good thing. Results. Deals additional damage equal to 50% of the sum of the armor. Yeah, let's Get just grab that. It's just additional damage. Of course I want it. Uh, ignores armor. That would be buckshot. Let's just grab now, that for now. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Alright, we'll try. We'll try. That's all I can promise at this point. Uh, I don't like sacrificing people, so I'm going to go this way. We can restore mana or vigor. Assuming we can get through this battle. Let's see. We got a musketeer of some kind. Um, let's see what he's about. Yeah, he's a musketeer, so he's got a lot of attack power, 24 attack, that's uh, heavy duty, so we're going to kill this berserker, then we're going to be also killing this musketeer pretty efficiently as well. Let's go ahead and we'll get everybody's, well first let's just punch this guy in the face. Within and then let's see who we can debuff here, break the ward on the traitor. In loud. We'll have her get her plus six attack and dread now for the rest of the battle. That's going to be great. 
Yeah, that guy we need to take out. Nice miss. We need more of that. Pieces. There we go. Maybe he'll just burn to death. I don't know. He removed the debuff. What a jerk. What a jerk. Removing the debuff. Oh. Your frail bodies fail. Shites. We don't need that attack happening ever. Whatever that was, it just needs to never be a thing. Have a warm end, my friend. Please just burn to death already. Maybe one of you should just go completely batshit. There you go. Ashes to ashes okay, he's gone. Dust That's good. To dust. Might save some lives there. Let's throw this out there. Get some damage on everybody now. Uh, let's just do the same. My darling, kill. I don't see why not. We're gonna take these guys out pretty quickly, I think. Entertainment. Hmm. Down accuracy, way down. Okay. Accuracy, way down. Yep. Still light you on fire, though. Keeps giving him that armor back, man. Need that armor to go away forever. I need to not have this accuracy debuff. Obviously. One of these attacks will hit you and someday will hit you three times in a row and maybe someday after that, um, you'll die. I don't know. It's not looking good. Maybe I should have been working on their, ins their sanity this whole time. I'm, I don't know. So weird. I don't even know. Block, block, block. Okay, yep, we can keep doing that. Are you just gonna keep buffing back your block? There we go. This never gets so old. We really only need a couple of solid hits. But if you went insane and died, that would be absolutely fine too. But we don't have a lot of luck with either at this point. Put him in bombardment since he's now been moved all the way to the back. There we go. For the win with the flame arrow. Mop up the gore. I hate that to see plants good. using it as fertilizer. Okay, let's see. Got some weapons. Uh, no, we don't really need that. What do we... 
we currently have equipped. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. More parts are probably good. That could be useful now, now that we have higher level minions. Mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Ah, fetching. Okay. So, we could do a couple of things. Do that. Oh, we had nobody healing. That's incredibly depressing. Well, maybe not incredibly depressing, but it's definitely not optimum. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Uh, we can go here and just restore our main party's our main party's vigor. Might as well. We don't really have a B team at the moment, so I think this is a, a comp we can just push on with for now. We can do another battle here and see how that goes. Okay, with him up first, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that block. This guy is new, this alchemist. So we'll see what kind of attacks he has, and we have a heavy fire thrower back here. So these two guys might be my current enemies. Let's see, uh, or ra rather, enemy number one. Oh, that's um, not good at all, actually. So ungood that I'm just gonna do this. And take that health back, please, thank you. I really want to get rid of that guy and then this guy, I think. <laughs> this guy, we might get to go insane. Nope, he's going to keep buffing him back up. Some burn damage on him will help. Okay. Loses all armor and resistances. Jeez. Oh, my darling, kill. Well, we got this guy to go insane. That's a start. <laughs> and that guy. Look at that. Now, if only they'd start doing some uh, friendly fire, we'd be all set. Impale this wretch. All right. Oh, he's got a lot of wards, but we'd have to work that down. He's got physical wards too. Extinction of life. Might as well light him on fire. It got removed though. 
Oh, uh, now we're all on fire, so I guess what goes around comes around, eh? I really don't like this guy, and the initial reaction of needing to kill him immediately was probably spot on. But now we have so much damage spread across all of them that it's just going to be a race to see if we can kill them before they kill us, I think. That's what I think. <laughs> at least his ward's gone. No, I doubt that will help us at all. Oh good! That's uh, the absolute not the thing I wanted to see happen right there. Uh, this is gonna be close. I don't know if we can, uh, if we're gonna do this or not. We'll see. This guy needed to go down a lot faster than he did, I think. Yeah. And now I don't know. We're just gonna lose everybody. So close yet, so impossibly far. Everyone's right there, but we just don't have the DPS to put them down, you know. Just don't have the DPS to put them down. <laughs> Your cries are music to me. <laughs> Jeez, all the buffs. Oh, crap. We got one of them. What you gonna do, you know? I wish he would escape. I wish he would just run away. Instead of doing anything like what he's currently doing. One HP left? Are you serious? Of course he had that damn ward up still. He's out. Is your first mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> your last. Okay, we actually, after losing everybody, uh, we somehow actually beat it. And we came out with a level 5 brain, so we could at least replace one of the people we lost. Still not, not great. We do have that leveling up fountain coming up next, so we're going to have to get somebody in there to make a party that we want to actually level up. Um, so, thinking about that, who do I want to level up from this group? Well, a couple of things I need is I really need a Dark Knight back. Hardly an inspiring leader, but the dead cannot Okay. That's the first thing I want to do. Let's just take this guy all the way. Serve me well, my minion. I expect results. Now, okay. prove yourself worthy of my investment. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. And if I'm thinking about it... Maybe this is the group I take to get them levels? I could put her in here. She needs to heal. He really needs to heal too, but that's not happening anytime soon. Up in the arena... I don't even know who I want up there. Well, I 
actually. What we need. Useful if you can put up with is a banshee. Constant whining. So she should probably go up there and gain a level at least. Or we could put her right into our group. Could do something like that. Alright, so that will boost them a little bit. It's obviously not a ton. But it's better than nothing. Serve me well, my minion. Get back to battle. And then we want this to be now, six. Okay. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Well, we've been trying to do that. Somewhat unsuccessfully. And let's go ahead and try one more battle and see if our luck holds out here. And then we have some choices to make on the way ahead. Why do I feel like more pain awaits us? Yes, we see a couple of new units. Golden Golem, 22 attack. No sanity meter because it is a construct. And then I have an Oracle back here. Two wards up on her. Okay. Ah, your frail bodies fail you. That looks great. Yeah, well, we really want her up front, not. Get some damage on this golem. I'm sure we're going to want it to die rather fast. Nice shot, sweetie. It's immune to the fire, obviously. Hey, this guy went insane. Holy shit. Sorry about that, but that was very bad. Any damage received is doubled. That is awful. That, like, tells me that she's going to die, like, any minute. My kingdom comes. I hope these guys start doing really bonk bonkers stuff. That's, like, maybe our only hope. Impale this wretch. Yeah, she's not... This unit is not incredibly useful right now. I could break her ward. She's already insane, so I doubt it matters. Darling, kill! Oh. Don't want her buffed. Definitely not. There we go. I feel a little bit better with one of them out of the equation. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. I feel really bad about our Bride of Aratus and her health because I'm worried about losing her. By some weird stuff like that happening. Because, yeah, any damage received is doubled, any damage received is doubled, so we have a theme happening here. hope we can finish these guys off in relatively short order. Brave are an excellent source of fresh corpses. 
Hey, if she wants to escape, it would be fine with me. She cast regeneration on herself, though. So that's not great. I was hoping this guy would just fall over dead any minute. But it's okay. This is what a thousand years there we evolution go. looks like. Handled, guys. Handled. Right, we got lucky. Alright, people that need to come out. You need to be healed. You need to be healed. You need to be up there. You have been healed. Um, You need to go in so I could use you again at some point. You can come out. And since we did get that one talent that had to do with the zombies and in, in buffing them, at least I thought we'd grab that. We did. I kind of want to use these more, so right now we only have one. I think it might be a good idea to... Oh, what did we unlock? Lost Soul. A lost soul is a spirit that has been trapped on the mortal plane for so long that they have forgotten what they looked like when they were still alive. This can be accelerated with some brainwashing. Such souls can then be infused with necromantic energy and used as agents of deception. Taught to delight in lies and betrayal, these spirits take on the form of masked women that trick and lure mortals to their doom. Cool. We have a lot of magical enemies and, like, kind of less physical. Let's check one out. Easy it is to deceive the living. Stress attack. 17 damage to the target and an enemy standing behind it. Target gains plus 10% accuracy, though. Support. Restore 100%. Here we go. Benevolent Spirit. Restores 100% vigor 19 to 23 to a target ally. At the start of the next turn, attacks the chosen ally. What? So it's going to heal it, but then just attack it. I don't... I don't understand that. This reduces the attack. I don't even really understand why I would want that. Um... Hmm. Magical attack. Target deals 50 cent more damage. I don't... I don't... I'm going to have to think about this. I'm not going to put her in right now. She has a lot of things that are negative side effects potentially for us. So that's not necessarily a great thing. Uh, the mummy. Loses luck for two turns. Loses 10% luck. Get back to okay. the battle. Alright then. Maybe we go with something like this for right now. Or even this it might be okay. And we could take on this quest, which we'll do with our main group. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Of course, we don't have a bride. Wait for, let's see, dark times push mortals to desperation. Desper desperation pushes them to fight and not always against you. The dwarves have oppressed their prisoners for too long, and with their forces stretched thin due to your invasion, it was inevitable that some of the captives would use this opportunity to take revenge. Your spies report that there is a large number of humans fighting against a substantial and well-armed dwarven force. It is likely that the uprising is going to be short-lived, silenced by the fires of dwarven flamethrowers, unless you intervene somehow. Direct approach won't work, however, showing up with your army will only provoke them to unite against you. Wait for the battle to finish and then attack the victor. Let's do that. We'll see how that goes. The dwarves won, like they said. Big surprise. No surprise there. Have a warm end, my We friend. want that guy. We want all these guys dead so fast that it's unreal. 
So these guys are going to deal more and more damage throughout. This guy has a flamethrower. So what else do I need to say? Flamethrower equals bad. Let's try this. This is working well for us in the one fight. Skeletons, what are you going to do? I'll take it. When I want everybody to die quickly, random attacks don't seem as bad. Literally need some damage out on everybody. Nice. Good, oh good. Someone has gone insane. I always like to see the insanity level go up in the opposing party. We do rain of fire where it's gonna hit us. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep randoming it up. That's a good crit, thank you. That they do. What a miss. Swing and a miss. Alright, well, we need to really kill one of them. Pretty quickly. Become part well, that was luck. Of the breathless I'll take it. Tide. Let's get his health back. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. Decay. Nice. Corruption. This guy's getting some really good crits this battle. Whoa. Worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. He'll probably live another round, let's see. No, he doesn't. And our skeleton gets to live, that's okay. amazing. Happy our skeleton lived. It's been a long time since we brought a skeleton into a battle and had it live. Ah, uh, that's another battle. Okay, straight away. We're not going to jump right into that. Let's get things going out here. Now that didn't count. Oh, because it was a quest. They said, they've told us that. Quest don't count. It's absolutely fine. We can do some kind of finagling. That doesn't look like a good party <laughs> at all. Maybe something like that. I'm not I'm not happy with that. That's not uh not the party I want, but He's just a level 1. He's not going to help me very much. Uh, yeah, we'll have to think about what we want to do with our party going forward. It's getting a little slim pickings and people of substantial levels. 
I don't think we have any brains on the table to bring to bear. No, we don't. So we'll have to see. This this group might do it. There's too many magic users here. I'm not pleased with that. My dog, Khaleesi, is making herself very vocal today. Refuses to stay out of the recording area. Alright, thank you guys so much for joining me. I think I'm going to take a break here. I have some thinking to do about who we're going to put into our next conflict. We might have to do something like that just for the levels. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys. Really appreciate the support. And let me know what you think. Any tips, thoughts, things I'm blatantly doing wrong? Love to hear it. Wish me luck. We'll see you soon.